We are heading into the home stretch for this year's legislative session. And to talk about what happened this week at 23rd and Lincoln, Quorum Call publisher Sean Ashley joins Taylor Jackson. Thank you, Jason. Sean, Governor Stitt has signed a bill which will create a mental wellness division within the Department of Public Safety. What will it do? Well, Senate Bill 613 creates this special division that probably will work with an organization or a foundation to provide mental health services for law enforcement officers. Now, throughout the bill's process, progress throughout the legislative session, members talked about how really what happens is law enforcement officers are paid often to respond to traumatic situations. And as a result of that, they take on some of that themselves. And we've seen a number of incidents involving law enforcement officers with mental health needs. This would be designed to help them deal with those situations and involve peer-to-peer -peer counseling as well. The proponents of the measure also hope that over time it can be expanded to include other first responders, such as firefighters, EMTs, and paramedics. House Minority Leader Emily Virgin is calling for the legislature to override a veto on a transparency bill. Why is she seeking for a reversal on the governor's veto? Well, the bill in question would have required individuals appointed to lead state agencies by the governor and those members of his cabinet to file financial disclosures. And of course, recently we've seen a number of issues related to individuals leading state agencies as well as some of his cabinet members and their, their financial dealings. Interestingly, the bill itself did not receive a negative vote as it made its way through the legislative process. So it seems likely there is a willingness to override that veto. Governor Stitt has formally nominated a familiar face as state health commissioner. Tell us about Keith Reed. Well, Keith Reed is probably well known to many Oklahomans. We've seen him on television uh, throughout the COVID pandemic and for the last several months as interim director of the State Department of Health. Reed is not a doctor. However, he does have a master's degree in the public health arena, and he led the state's efforts in rolling out the COVID-19 vaccine during the COVID pandemic. So he's been a familiar face. When I spoke to him several months ago as he was preparing to take over the agency, he was looking at it as a, a temporary job, as an interim director. But now the governor has appointed him to that position on a full-time basis. His nomination must be approved, however, by the Senate, and then he can lead the agency full-time. Tax and fee collections in April set a record. What is the state treasurer saying about last month's revenue? Well, those collections in April totaled $2.04 billion, and that's the first time in state history that a single month's collections have exceeded $2 billion. That was 37% more than the collections from a year ago. However, there is sort of a cloud to that silver lining, if you will. Collections in the sales and use tax area did not grow as quickly as the rate of inflation, which has exceeded 8.5%. We also saw gross production taxes on oil and natural gas and motor vehicle collections, motor vehicle tax collections come in lower than those of a year ago. So while we have seen some growth in the economy, Treasurer McDaniel warned that there is reason to be cautious because we are seeing some red flags being raised within the economy. Sean Ashley, publisher of Quorum Call, thank you so much for joining us today. You're very welcome.